Hi, today I'm going to show you a tool to help search the Kennebunk Free Library catalog for smaller children's collections within our broader children's library. So this will help you scope your searching and your browsing through the catalog for things like our easy readers, our first chapter books, our graphic novels, and our audiovisual collections. Hopefully this will make it easier to find the items that you're looking for within those smaller collections and make it a little easier for you to request them. Before I start, a couple of notes. I'll be giving you some codes for those smaller collections, and I'll have all of those codes typed out in the description below the video for you to look at at any time. I'll also let you know that I'm recording this on an Android tablet, um, but the searching that I'm going to be doing can be used on any device like a desktop, laptop, Apple device, or smartphone. Um, you'll be able to do the same type of searching. It may just look a little different on layout depending on how you're holding your device or which device you're using. So to start with, um, we're going to open a internet browser. I'm using Chrome, but you can use whichever one you like and are familiar with. And I'm going to start at the Kennebunk Free Library's website, kennebunklibrary.org. Um, you can do it this way or I'll give you a way to go a little bit more directly to our catalog. But when you do land on the Kennebunk Library website, you'll notice this gray search box over in the corner. Um, that's going to get us over to the catalog, but we're not actually going to start with a search here. We're just going to use it as a way to get over to where we want to be. So we're going to click More Search Options, which will open a second tab on the advanced search page of our Minerva catalog. We're not even going to use anything on this page. Um, to get to the landing page, page that we want, we're going to click the Minerva icon up here in the upper left, the little owl. That's going to get us to the landing page that we want. Now, if you don't want to do those steps going from the Kennebunk website, the Kennebunk Library website over to here, you can just go ahead and type minerva.main.edu into your address bar, and this is the page it will take you to. We're going to scroll down a little bit because what we need is not in this gray search box. It's actually in some of the links below it. You can see in purple on your screen that it says Dewey and other call numbers. It's purple because I clicked this link earlier today. It will be blue for you on your first time doing this type of search. But you'll find Dewey and other call number toward the bottom. And we're going to click on that. That brings us to the search page we actually do want. And this is where we're going to build our scoped search. The first thing that we're going to do is switch the location to the Kennebunk Children's Collection. So we'll tap the third box down here and scroll till we find it. While we're scrolling, I'll let you know that everything we're going to talk about from here on out is specific to KFL and our collections. Each library does their own classifying and labeling and uses different systems. So the codes that I give you here are specific to KFL. We're going to start with our easy readers, which are actually broken up into two different collections. We have grade one books, which are the very first level of easy readers for brand new readers. Um, and then we have the rest of them, levels two and three, uh, in a different section. It's actually right next to them on the shelf, but needs a different code for searching in the catalog. So let's start with our grade one easy readers. And in our search box here, we're going to type the code for those, which is JE space grade. They actually say grade one, but we don't need the one. We'll be fine with just using grade. Now another feature here is this middle box that says sort by and it's defaulted to system sorted but if you click on it you can actually tell it to show you all the newest items that are published and it is done by publication date not the date that we add them to the collection but it'll have the most recently published items at the top of the list and the older stuff at the back of the list. So now we've got our search built. We have a code for grade one easy readers. We're going to have it sorted newest to oldest and we're searching just the, the Kennebunk children's collection. So we can go ahead and run our search. Give it a moment to run all those options through and get us a result list. And there we go. So we can see we have 230 items and about five pages of just those grade one books. So that's a little bit more manageable to search for than just kind of shooting in the dark and hoping you can find the right level that you're looking for. Here you can browse these titles, click into each title, get a little more info about the book and be able to request it right through here. Now the next um, step up would be to search for easy readers. So those are level two, three of the 
easy readers for you know newly independent readers. We're going to just change the code up at the top from JE grade to JE easy to be able to find those books. And again, I'll have these codes written out at the in the video description below. So JE easy and we hit search. Now because we already told it to do newest to oldest, it should apply that to this search too. And we should be able to see a list coming up here. Now if it didn't give you the newest to oldest or you wanted to change that, you can do this limit sort search button here and towards the bottom you can change how you would like it sorted. But here we've got about 11 pages of easy readers for you to scroll through. And again, you can tap into any of these titles to get more information about the individual book. Next up, we've got our first chapter collection, and that's a little bit of a different code. It is J first with no space between the J and the word first, all scrunched together. So we'll put that in and run a search. And there we see we've got another 11 pages of books to scroll through and browse. Another great collection this tool helps with is our graphic novels. And that code is JGN. Again, no spaces and all smushed together. So we'll put in JGN. And it's got some thinking to do on this one. But there we go, another 10 pages of graphic novels for kids. You can use this for our audiovisual collections as well. To find our DVDs that are in our kids' library, we'll do JDVD. Again, no space between the J and the DVD. We'll search that. This one should be a rather large collection. 931 different DVDs in that library. Um, audiobooks on CD, you can do JCD and see what you get with that. And another 11 pages of audiobooks. Now you can use this for our larger collections in our kids' room, like our picture books, our regular juvenile fiction, and our juvenile, juvenile nonfiction. It won't be quite as effective just due to the sheer size of those collections, but if you are only interested in picture books, you can use this to scope it down by doing JP. And I think the last time I checked, we had about 4,600 picture books come up with this search. So still quite a lot to, to scroll through, but it does scope it out from the other material in the collection. Yep, so we've got 46, 86, 4,686 picture books on 94 pages, but again, sorted newest to oldest. So if you're, if you're looking for newer things or older things, you can change it with that sorting function. Um, regular juvenile fiction, you would do JFIC. Again, no spaces, J-F-I-C. Um, and nonfiction would work a little bit differently because you would need to know the Dewey number for the section you'd look for. So if you were interested in things like American history, you would do J973. If you were interested in domestic pets, it would be J636. Um, so let me show you the pets. We'd do a J. We would do a space here before a number, and then you could search that. But for nonfiction, it is probably easier to do a subject or a keyword search for the topic that you're looking for, unless you definitely know the Dewey number that that, sec that topic is in. So for J636 uh, for pets, we got two pages, books about pets, cats, dogs, we even got some hedgehogs here. Um, we can do this for some of the collections for young adult and adults, um, but I will show that in a different video. Uh, but for now, I hope this helps you browse our children's collection a little bit easier, it takes a little less time for you to find what you're looking for, and makes it easier for you to request items. As always, if you have any trouble searching, requesting, need book recommendations, or any help at all, you can reach out to us by giving us a call, sending us an email, or reaching out through our social media pages. We're always happy to help you get the books you need into your hands. So I hope you did find this helpful. Check below for the full list of codes for the kids' collection, and we hope to see your requests coming in soon.